All right, this is test four of Trackabot Ot 1. Uh, two and three were, well, two was messed up because Ronan pulled the kill rope and uh, I've adjusted the kill rope and we did a quick test coming back to our start position. And now we're gonna try from, I hope, a good start position. Otherwise, this is gonna run out onto the road or something. Um, this is set for a simple line and it should go down and then come right back along the same line. It has been fairly accurate so far, surprisingly accurate. I, I coded this up this morning. I was just gonna test some basic navigation with it and it worked and so I added in the the steering and the clutch, added in some waypoint procedures, uh, tried to read waypoints directly from a mission file from APM. That didn't work so well. It, it did, but there were some problems that I think were unrelated. Um, and I really wanted to work on doing lines. APM is great for specifying, oh, just a... Uh, some waypoints we're going wherever but I need to be able to specify rows in a field and that's a whole different story so let's see if you can get a feel for how consistent it is and it's kind of hard to tell from those tracks um, I'll get in front of it next time but it's tracking very well the cross-track distance is on the order of one-tenth of a meter, pretty consistently. And that's pretty horrible. Um, the reason for that is that I am using strictly proportional control for that right now. And I have not added in any integral control. Um, also, this is a closed uh, I'm sorry, an open center hydraulic system. And so, steering control with the bang bang valve, which is all I could get for this, uh, it's pretty coarse. I, I used a special technique to get smaller steering corrections, so it's not too bad, uh, but it's not perfect. You can, see the, you can see the wheels as they move back and forth here to stay on target. Closely, it matches previous track. And there we are, back where we started. Success. Way to go, Tractobot. Hot one.